So I was browsing uh, reddit.com, I go there pretty regularly, and um, on the atheism forum, I noticed that most of the links and topics were actually just anti-Christianity. Now I find it interesting that uh, it's not really an attack, but really an observation, that if you look up anything that's uh, under the category of atheism, it's always about... It's always against. It's the antithesis. It's the opposite of uh, faith-based things. It's it's always the topic of atheism is Christianity. It's basically it's heart and soul, um, and that's understandable because atheism, at least uh, modern forms of atheism, tend to be uh, a breaking down of the old structured mythical attitudes that uh, are pretty prevalent in our society, and that's understandable. However, uh, I find myself having difficulty identifying with either side, uh, because I believe the issue here is not necessarily just the uh, dismissal of a magic man um, or anything that simple. Uh, it's not just, well, if we had common sense, we would see there was no magic man. And since there's no magic man, we're just thinking irrationally. Um, I know that's a good point of atheism, uh, of rationalist thought, actually. I believe Sam Harris has, has something going here when he says that atheism, uh, if we have to call ourselves atheists, it, it kind of is demeaning because rational thought should be something that doesn't need a label. I mean, he makes the point that there are no anti-astrologers. There's just non-astrologers. So really, we're not really... It, it's, it's an interesting antithesis to become an opposite of something, to use... to objectify this... Uh, what should you call it? Um, this object, Christianity and identify yourself by breaking it down. And that's pretty much what I what I tend to see happening. Um, again, I, I, noticed, I noticed this, and it's not necessarily bad, but it seems to be the focus of atheism. And so, that's the first thing I wanted to cover. It's, it's interesting, we're breaking down things, but we're labeling ourselves as these breakdowners. I don't know how else to word it, really. But, um... Once again, Sam Harris had a point here. There are no non, there are no anti-astrologers. They're just non-astrologers. So why would we we need to, you know, create a movement and an identity over uh, something that we should be moving forward from? But uh, still, I understand the movement, and I don't necessarily think it's entirely bad that is happening. But um, the main point I'm trying to make here is that atheism and Christianity, we have this pro-faith pro-rationality. And for the most part, most of them seem to think that there is nothing, if you are a, rash, a rational being, for the most part, there is little to find in a religious life. And I think this has to do with more of terminology and how we understand the term religion. Um, I'm not going to go into the uh, etymology of the words here, but uh, roughly speaking from reading um, Sam Harris's books, uh, Richard Dawkins, Hitchens, um, a lot of uh, how they I, uh, identify religion is an old world, mythical, superstitious uh, belief system. Basically, no different than uh, Santa Claus and the fairy, uh, I don't know, the tooth fairy, uh, things like that. So, I can understand why they would be breaking that down. Obviously, there is no Santa Claus, there is no Tooth Fairy, um, there is no Boogeyman, and for the most part, a lot of people see religion as this, and they kind of mystify the life, and not, they mystify their lives in the world, they translate the world in a supernatural sense, and I'm, I agree with the atheists on this point. It's, it's, it's bad, it, it leads to violence, it leads to tragedies, it leads to war, but, on the same token, um, this, um, what's it called? Defining religion as simply and only, 
uh, mythical deities, uh, defining atheism. I mean, even atheism, if you look it up in any kind of dictionary online, it says, uh, atheist, uh, rejection or lack of belief in, uh, in gods or deities. Uh, this I agree with. However, um, as someone who's also looked into Eastern faith and uh, more deeply mystical faith, it's honestly a different brand of religion of its own. It's, it's something completely and totally radical compared to uh, the, uh, the traditions that they seem to emerge from. And um, naming Rumi would only be one, uh, but in the Far East, uh, Taoism and Buddhism and even some forms of Hinduism have this mystical aspect. And it's important to note that it's not all just this mystical aspect, just because uh, Buddhism has uh, some interesting things to say about our consciousness and our identity doesn't mean that the layers of hell that they have real are real and that um, there is a hell in which we will be born as uh, hungry ghosts that have little stomachs and uh, a razor-burning esophagus every time we eat. Uh, I don't know if you really know this, know this, but it was the hungry ghost. If you are trying to always quench yourself in this life, your karma in the next life will be reborn as this ghost that's always hungry, but it can never, uh, never quench, never fulfill this hunger, and it's painful to eat. So imagine being hungry forever, but it hurts to eat, and you're wondering, I guess, hell or the world in this ethereal form. The lot of these things are just supernatural, um, imaginary forms. And, and I like I like to uh, point out that this level of spirituality and religion is not real. This is something that we've created. It's a metaphor for some, but for the most part, they do believe in this. They believe it to be literal, and this is a danger. And with that point in atheism, I agree. However, there are deeper forms of spirituality that atheism doesn't address or touch. Um, and I'm going to make one exception here, because Sam Harris did actually bring this up. He did mention... Um, with Buddhism and Eastern uh, forms of contemplation and deep meditation, serious questions arise on A, our identity, B, our consciousness, and C, who we are. And meditation is a form of experimentation where uh, a hypothesis is brought forth. Um, and a mystic would, might say, you, the self, is not real, and the self being the ego. Uh, to experience true self, meditate every day for four years or whatever. And basically you go about doing this and testing this. If you have a meditation experience, it's for the most part less about some kind of visual deities emerging in your meditation and more about these transpersonal mystical states where nothing has really changed and you can completely think rationally. However, your view of your the view of yourself in the world is fundamentally and radically changed. You no longer see yourself as um, separate from the world or a piece of the world, but rather a part of the world. You are no longer seeing yourself as going down into the world, the mind into matter. Um, more like you see yourself as emerging from the world. Uh, Alan Watts used to say, uh, "The earth grows plants, but it also grows people." And I think this is well stated. And I commend Sam Harris for actually bringing these points up in his book, The End of Faith. But yes, uh, that's only part of what I wanted to get into. The next part we'll talk about, uh, well, this form, this this question of identity and uh, what it means and why this atheism versus Christianity duality is only scratching the surface of a much deeper, not a problem, but a, a question about our existence and about who we are. Thanks for listening.